Hello, my name is Hellbent, and welcome to, I think we're up to the fifth part for the edit, um, adding an edit box or edit field, edit control to auto hotkey GUIs. In this one, we're going to look at adding a horizontal scroll to our GUI, and we're also going to look at the wrap feature because it's kind of a, it plays into it. So, anyways, um, I can't really talk while I type, so I'm just going to do my normal pre pre-scripting thing. Okay, um, let's create our GUI. So the first thing is GUI show width of 500, height of 500. And I'm going to title it Edit Tutorial. Add in a return. I'm going to add in a label for GUI close. So that way, when I close the GUI, it exits the script. Exit. And I'm going to make it so that way it's always on top. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in our edit field. And we're going to make it a width of 200 and a height of 200. Okay, I think we are good. Yeah, and we'll have a look. Okay, so here we have our GUI. We have our edit field. And if I was to go beyond its dimensions in its height, you'll notice that I get the slider. Um, but sometimes you're going to have text that goes to the right and you're going to want to be able to scroll over to that as well. So we're going to we're going to look at how to add in the horizontal slider and also like I said wrap. Okay. So by default, once I have it set up like this where I have multiple lines built into its defaults at this point is a command called wrap. Now what this does is if I get to the right of my edit field, what it's going to do is it's not going to continue going. What it's going to do is automatically drop down to the next line. And we'll see that in a second. There we go. Okay, so I didn't press return or enter. It does that on its own. And this is the wrap feature. Now I can turn this off by typing in a command. I can type in here. Actually, I've never even actually tried this. so. Let's do this. So what I've basically said is, hey, I don't want you to do that. I want you to continue, keep going over to the, the right. Okay? So we'll test that out. And now it should just keep going. Okay? And if I type in a different character so you can see. Okay? So we're still going over. Okay. So that's with us turning off the wrap. And we have to actually manually type that into our options. Now, with the, if we put in the horizontal scroll, we do not have to do that. It's automatically going to change that default. Just like when we added the multiple lines, it defaulted to adding in the wrap feature. When we add in our horizontal scroll, it's going to get rid of it, or it's going to basically put this into its default. So we don't even actually have to add this once we add in the horizontal scroll. So let's add in our horizontal scroll. The way we do that is we just type H and then scroll. Okay, so now that we have this in, once we run it again, we're going to have that horizontal scroll. And the wrap is going to be turned off. Okay, so we have it in. We can't see it really yet until we actually get past that. And there we go. So now we have our horizontal scroll, and that's it. So now you know how to add in a horizontal scroll into your GUI, and I will see you on the next one if you want to 
go to it which is going to be changing it so that way you can't change this so you created a, a GUI you want it to be read only so that way the user can't accidentally do something like that alright and I'll see you there have a good day